So hey guys, welcome to another Sentinel review and today we're gonna check out the Death Cube and its weapon, the Death Machine Rifle. You can get the blueprint for Death Cube in the market and it will cost you 100,000 credits. Then to build the Death Cube you will have to put an additional 15,000 credits, 500 alloy planes, 400 circuits, 200 nanospores and one control module. The Sentinel comes with pretty good stats, it has 200 health, 100 shields, 50 armor, 100 power, 4 ability polarities and 2 exclusive precept mods. First there is Swift Death which is the standard attack mod and simply causes the Sentinel to attack the first enemy it sees. At rank 5 which is the maximum rank of this mod, the Sentinel will target enemies that are up to 30 meters away which makes the Death Cube a medium range Sentinel. It doesn't have as much range as the Dirigeur but it has far more range than something like Carrier. And the second precept mod is called Vaporize and this one causes the Sentinel to stun a nearby target with the Vaporize beam, deals 900 radiation damage with fairly high status chance and has a 30 second cooldown. Now at rank 5, which is the maximum rank for Vaporize, it will target enemies that are up to 4 meters away from you, which is great for stopping the occasional melee unit. In low to mid level missions it's straight up gonna one shot them and in high to sortie level missions it's gonna stun them and can proc radiation on them so their friends will probably kill them anyway. Now once you build the death cube you will get the death machine rifle as well, which does 5.1 damage with every shot, 4.3 out of which is slash, 0.3 is puncture and 0.5 is impact. It has very low critical chance of only 5%, 200% crit multiplier and only 1% status chance. However, it has 100 rounds in the magazine, a reload time of 2 seconds and it fires 8.3 rounds every second. So even though it does fairly low damage with every shot and has poor supportive stats, the high fire rate means that it can do some serious damage. Now as far as the builds are concerned, for the death cube I'm running a 3 forma build where I've added 3 Ds. And as with all of my sentinels I've moved the ability polarities to the top so it's easier to keep up with the priority system which goes from 1 to 10 as you can see on the screen right now. So the first thing the death cube is always gonna try and do is to vaporize an enemy. If it can't do that it will check my health and see if it can heal me with Mediray, then check my shields and see if it can restore them with Guardian and finally it's gonna start shooting at things. And finally I'm using vacuum and regen so the sentinel picks up items and it regenerates if it dies. And by the way thank you to all of you who have informed me on the previous video that vacuum has been changed from an ability mod to a passive mod so it doesn't matter where it is in the priority system anymore. Another mod that I'm using is Sanctuary which will create a bubble around me where I'm reviving a teammate, then since the death cube has a quite a bit of health I'm using Enhanced Vitality for increased survivability for the sentinel, Animal Instinct which is a mod that I simply cannot live without and it gives you loot radar and enemy radar, and finally I'm using Calculated Redirection which gives the death cube enough shields to protect it from all chip damage and sort of medium ish burst damage as well. And this makes the death cube pretty beefy because with both Calculated Redirection and Enhanced Vitality it can take quite a bit of punishment before before it goes down. Now I know this is an overkill and a half but on the death machine rifle I'm using a 5 forma build where I've added 3 V's and 2 dashes. And the build focuses on raw damage and fire rate so I'm using serration for more damage, split chamber for multi shot, vile acceleration and speed trigger for tons and tons of fire rate. And I do mean tons of fire rate because with these two mods the death cube will fire more than 20 rounds every second. And since it fires so fast I'm using fast hands to help with the reload speed and bring it down to 1.5 seconds. And finally to top it off I'm using stormbringer and infected cliff for corrosive damage and hellfire for heat damage. Now yes, 5 Forma is definitely an overkill for a sentinel rifle, but still, I am seriously impressed with how much damage this weapon actually does. In sort of mid-level missions, it will absolutely demolish anything that dares stand in its way. And even when I took it into today's first sortie and I fought elite lancers which are weak to radiation and I'm using corrosive, it still shredded through them pretty damn quickly. And then I started playing around with fired up. Because with the build I'm using the death machine rifle overheats in under 1 second and then it stays overheated for the entire magazine. So even if you factor in the cooldown with fired up the sentinel does 60% extra damage with sort of every other magazine. I ended up not using it because I would rather have more utility on my sentinel with something like sanctuary or animal instinct but if you're using the same death machine rifle build where you go for insane fire rate and you're missing one of the mods that I'm using on my death cube just replace it with fired up. Now I'm not saying the death machine rifle is better than sweeper prime because sweeper prime does do a lot of burst damage and it has the crowd control on top of that if you go for a status belt, 
but it's a pretty good weapon nonetheless. Honestly, the Death Cube overall is a really good Sentinel. It is pretty beefy, it has enough health and shields to survive even in high level missions. The Death Machine Rifle, as I've said already, is a really good Sentinel weapon as well. And Vaporize, which is perhaps the main reason why you would get a Death Cube over something like a Carrier, is pretty good as well. It's kind of annoying that it has a 30 second cooldown, I think it should be lower, but in low level mission, it's just gonna straight up one shot anything that dares get too close to you, and in high level missions, it's gonna stun the enemy and can proc radiation, which is awesome. And I must say, out of all the Sentinels you can straight up buy from the market and you don't have to farm them like Carrier or Worm Prime, Death Cube is probably the best one. So if you're looking for your first Sentinel, I would definitely recommend the Death Cube, but I would also buy Carrier as well. They have the same stats, so they both have quite a bit of survivability, but the carrier comes with a sweeper, which is a shotgun. So if you don't have too many mods and you want to run with a rifle, you can use the sweeper. And if you want to run with a shotgun, you can use the dead machine rifle. And that's pretty much it for the video. So I thank you very much for watching, as always, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.